Hello everybody. Good morning. I'm gonna wait a little bit, let some more people come in. Say hey in chat too. So I hope y'all are doing alright this morning. This ring light's awfully bright this morning. But yeah, we'll just go a few more minutes to see if anybody else comes in. But uh, yeah, should be a good morning. Should be a good morning. Kage, welcome Kage, how are you this morning? Sorry I don't have any music playing this morning. My uh, sister and brother-in-law are in the other room and I don't want to be too loud just yet. I want to make sure that they're up and going before I do that. I'm sleepy, but good, and you, yeah, I'm sleepy too. Definitely gonna try something different today with the early morning stream. Well, it's not early, it's 10 a.m. here, but you know. They usually stream at five, so yeah. Cook something new, yeah. I'm trying to be very informative as possible, but um, yeah. <laughs> the reason why it says uh, semi-homemade chicken and waffles I don't have a waffle maker, so I cheated and got these cute little Belgian butter waffles from work. And I'm gonna make little sliders out of the fried chicken and stuff. It should be good. So my meeting fell through, so here I am. Good morning, Mom. Welcome. Ooh. Said it's two. Wow, what time zone are you in? Yeah, I'm in Eastern Standard Time. I bet they get up. Sorry. I bet they get up when they smell the cooking. Yeah, this is true. As long as it works. Yes, very true. I'm excited for y'all to be here already. For sure. I got um, Nightbots started going. I might switch to Stream Elements or something eventually, but uh, now I can do this stuff here. I can do. Finally. can finally do shout outs and stuff and commands. Hopefully um, Nightbots doesn't mod too hard because I know how they like to roll sometimes. <laughs> no fun. But today is a very important day. I've met all the requirements except for days streaming for, to meet affiliates. So today is a big day. So excited for everyone to be here. We hear the birds, yeah. Got the windows open, it's nice and cool outside. Maybe that's a good ambiance for the stream today, we'll see. After this stream, I should make affiliate today, yes. So this is a pretty big stream today. Thank you, thank you. Let me post in a few discords real quick that I'm live and see if anybody else will come in before I get started. Let me get my link first, actually. Wish I could do this from my laptop, but it's not very, uh, very fun. You're easy. I mean, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing this morning. So after today, I'm going to upload my emotes and hopefully we can start spamming those. I've got the hype, the raid, and I have just my um, normal profile picture of me holding my knife cross-eyed without eyes. It's pretty cool. It's really cool looking. I can't wait to start seeing that. Well, thank you for stopping by, Blitz. I know you're at work. Thank you so much for stopping by. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started then. So... Today is chicken waffles day, like I said earlier. It's semi-homemade because I got these little waffles here because I don't have a waffle maker. I've never had these before, but I heard they're really good. So we shall find out. And these are perfect little slider buns, so you can eat it like a little sandwich. And then I've got these bad boys here. These habaneros. Hopefully they don't make it too spicy. 
I got chicken thighs and honey. It's gonna be a good morning. It's gonna be spicy and good. So let's get going. I'm going to start with the batter and the egg wash. So let me adjust the camera a smidge so you can see what I'm doing better. If you adjust the GoPro. See if that's good. That is better. So you're going to want to start off with some eggs for your egg wash. Typically, you would want to um, marinate your chicken thighs in buttermilk for a few hours. But I totally dropped the ball on that one. So we're just going to go straight up chicken thigh. I did the picture of that Mexican sushi that uh, I think it's your your server that you usually have at El Toro Loco made you the Mexican sushi. It looked really good. What was it? Refried beans in the center or something? Oh, also today I me and my younger sister, we recorded another YouTube video last night. So I'll be editing that after this video today. And hopefully it'll be posted and ready to roll tonight. It is um, jackfruit barbecue with a collard. So it's a whole, it's all vegan. And yeah, it's just delicious collards. Pork and chicken. Oh, pork and chicken. That sounds good. Go ahead and get the chicken open. I'm gonna go ahead and start heating up my oil as well. It needs to be to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Got just enough oil left in there. Set those to the side. You wanna set everything up when you're dredging and frying chicken, just to be streamlined so you can go from one thing to the next and not make a huge mess and have a wet and dry hand. Okay, I think I'm gonna need a bigger bowl than this. So let me go grab that real quick. It should be right here. That's better. Get my flour. Ooh. Sorry, I had to start the exhaust fan. There's something on the burner back there and it started smoking. But I don't want the detectors to go off. Kidding, who cares about the neighbors? All right, so I need three cups of flour. Here's my flour, just regular all-purpose. Man, came slightly unprepared today. Hey, Dad, welcome to the stream this morning. How's your need today? So I need three cups of flour, there's one. and three cups of flour that's going to be way more than I need so I'm going to actually take out a cup I don't want to waste a whole bunch of flour so I'm just going to do two cups of flour not bad, that's good put the flour out of the way, put it back in the bag I'm always scared I'm going to get flour everywhere now let me bring over the plethora of seasonings here. With the salt and pepper. Okay, so I'm trying to make this recipe fairly easy and straightforward, so I changed everything. Instead of like two teaspoons, I just upped it to a tablespoon. So it's gonna be like a tablespoon of everything here in this uh, breading. Except for the cayenne pepper, that's only a teaspoon. So just do a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Plus, it's already going to be spicy from all the habanero. And then I need a tablespoon of paprika. Now, definitely use measuring spoons if you're not comfortable with this. Just eyeballing it. I need a tablespoon of oregano. I get the herbs and spices in there, if you know what I'm saying. 
had some Italian seasoning. It called for fresh ba or dry basil, but I didn't have any dry basil. So this has like marjoram, thyme, rosemary, savory, sage, oregano, and basil. So it's got a lot of different things in it. A tablespoon of this as well. A tablespoon of garlic powder. A tablespoon of onion powder. I'm going to add in a tiny bit of chipotle flake here. I'm going to say about a teaspoon, if that. Ready to wake your mouth up with this. <laughs> all right. I'm going to mix this all together. Get everything mixed up and ready to go. This is way too much. I'm going to save some of this, actually, I think. So if I do do a fried chicken stream again soon, then I will have more breading ready to go. Right now I have nine viewers watching with me. We're watching with you guys. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can hear the oil back there doing something. I was wondering where that noise was coming from, but now I totally know. And I always end up being flour all over me somehow. But it's okay. It's okay. And now, like I said, we wanted to get it to 350 degrees. This is going to take a few minutes. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll drop my thermometer into the. Wow, let's make a weird noise. Drop my thermometer in the oil this morning. Yeah, we still got a while before that gets hot enough. You gotta make sure your oil's hot enough or your uh Yeah absolutely you don't have to put anything spicy in here. You can get rid of the cayenne pepper and get rid of the um oh I forgot to add the salt and pepper by the way. But um and it's a tablespoon of salt and pepper. But you can totally do it without the spice, definitely. And also, instead of making a hot honey, you can also do any kind of flavored honey you think would be good. For sure. <laughs> Welcome, Slurpee. I'm happy you're here this morning. I know it's so early. Decided to try and do a brunch stream one day to see how that goes. Maybe I'll do it again in the future, we shall see. But welcome if you're just coming in. This is a big stream for me today. After this stream, I should make affiliate. I'm pretty pumped, pretty pumped. Yes, please, that would be awesome. You like this schedule? Yeah. I know that you were able to watch this one. I know if I do the five o'clock one, you're not, you can't really come in. It's only 9 p.m. here? Yeah, that's awesome. Definitely glad you can come in today. I said, I'm going to save some of this breading here because it's way too much and I don't want to waste a whole bunch of it. Save it for later. That's probably all I'm going to need because I only have six chicken thighs. One, two, three, four, actually five, so I can't count. And then I'll just put this in the cabinet for next time. Got that. Let me check the oil again. <laughs> Still got a long way to go. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Maybe I'll start doing this like once every couple weeks or once a month. I think it could be cool to have a brunch every now and then. Ooh, I almost got my power cord and the chicken. That would have been disgusting. But yeah, I think I'll start doing this every now and then. I just had dinner. What'd you have for dinner? If you want a chair, you don't have to. Also for the fried chicken, you want to make sure you have a spot for it to land to absorb all the oil. I 
here. So let me set it over here. Now, with the hot honey, I'm going to go ahead and get this going so it cooks down a little bit. I just got light amber honey here. And I'm probably not going to need all of this because we just don't eat stuff that needs honey all the time. You know what? Honey lasts forever, right? Almost. So I'll just do all I can get out of that fairly easily. And now it's habanero time. This is the scariest time of this whole stream. Because you just got to make sure you wash your hands really good after you do this. Because if you touch your face or anywhere else, then you're going to regret your life decisions almost immediately. And you will hate, hate yourself for it. Your habanero. One time at work, we made a um, mango habanero shrimp. At my old job, I mean. We made mango habanero shrimp and somebody forgot to wash their hands. And let's, let's just say bad things happened. <laughs> that is awesome. Honey, honey keep, beekeepers? That is too cool. Fresh honey is amazing. If you can get it locally, then definitely do that. Cut off the top of the habanero. And for doing this in the honey, you don't really need to cut it up all fancy, but I am going to get rid of the center. The seeds and everything. In fact, I'm just going to cut it in half and leave it that way. See, I got most of the seeds out and everything. And just throw straight up, throw that into the honey, just like that. Once it heats up, the, the honey will loosen up. You want me to eat one? Do you hate me? I think you hate me. I'll eat, I'll eat part of the top with no seeds in it, so it shouldn't be bad, but habaneros are very, oh, that's still pretty spicy. But, um, Fresh habaneros are so good because they have such, oh, like a fruity flavor to them. <clears throat> well, that hit me a little bit. <laughs> That's good. But habaneros are just so good. They're one of my favorite peppers. Yeah, they pack a punch, but yeah, they also have flavor too. It's just not like eating something that tastes like a pepper with some heat. Got two left. I'm going to save some for garnish later. Make it pretty. There's my thermometer. Check it out. I need to get a deep frying thermometer, candy thermometer. Creeping up slowly here. What about 275 degrees? So we'll just let that keep going. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the stove now. Just keep it on low. You just wanna heat it up and let all the juices and the oils and stuff come out of the habanero and go into the honey. Like that. Keep an eye on it. And then I guess with my waffles here, I'll just toast them. I couldn't get frozen waffles. I just couldn't bring myself to do that. But look, they're nicely individually packed here. Lots of plastic, but and then you've got two little waffles here. I think these would be perfect for making a little slider hot. I can't even talk. It's too early. I need more caffeine. And I don't drink coffee and I don't have Red Bull or, or Monster or any of that good stuff. So I'm gonna set these over here. I'll be ready to roll on some plating. Okay, Pasa Masa, welcome. Good morning. Happy to have you here. I also have a few lurkers in here. Thank you so much for lurking. I know you might be at work or whatnot, or you're just getting ready for work, or you're just chilling, not typing and texting and chatting. That's totally cool. But uh, I'm also going to shout out my link tree real quick. Find me on Twitter and Instagram and all of that good stuff, and my Discord. I also have Streamer Galaxy Discord up in there, which is a great place to go if you need help with streaming or anything. J-Bomb, you made it. I'm so happy you're here. I can't believe it. Thank you for stopping by and saying, hey, I really do appreciate that. Truly. Truly do. 
Thank you for your support. Chicken and waffles, I know. I, I blame Blitz for this one because she talked about it a few times in some of her streams and I just couldn't get it out of my head. So yeah, it's her fault. She'll be streaming tonight too. I think she's going to do some Red Dead again. Pretty sure. 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. Sounds on, so the view counts. Okay, no worries. I understand. That's what I do too when I keep keep my phone in my pocket while I'm lurking for you and for everyone else. Awesome. Drop the llamas. The llamas. See how many you can drop with four if Nightbots will uh, get upset. Hopefully it doesn't. I turned off all the mods that it can do. Hopefully. Alright, we are very close to 350 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and start breading my chicken. Now it's going to get messy. All right, so take your chicken, like so. Make sure it's open, because the thighs like to have a little, like to be folded up a little bit. So open it up, start with the flour. Have a wet and dry hand. So this is my dry hand. Put it into the flour, move it around. Here, I'll bring this this way so you can see it. You're gonna go from the breading to the egg wash. Oops, I totally messed up already. I have a wet and dry hand all in the same hand. Yes, good, good, good. Nightbot's not heating on everybody this morning. And now my dry hand. Get it nice and packed in there. That way, your, look at that, looks pretty good. I'm gonna set that to the side. Let's just keep it moving here. Yeah, spam all of the emotes. Hopefully mine will be able to be in there soon. Really hoping. Hopefully it doesn't take them too long to approve my emotes. That is also true, you're right, J-Bob. On to the next one here. This is messy, but it's okay. Sometimes good, the best things are messy. There we go. Got two. Oh, I almost did it wrong. To the dry. Then the egg. You're hungry again? Ah, that's awesome. Are you streaming today, Slurpee? Slurpee? I don't know if I'm saying your name right. I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. I just completely forgot about this hand. I'm just gonna mess this one up real good. Mondays and Thursdays? Cool. So I'll be streaming tomorrow morning. I'll lurk if I can. I work at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, so... I'll try my hardest to lurk at least. Because I do appreciate you being here this morning. And I think I'm going to have just enough of this flour. I'm so glad I didn't completely overdo it with the flour because I hate wasting things. Nice! Slurpee. I, I love Slurpees. <laughs> I used to get, my mom used to bring us one every day at work back in the day when I lived back in Virginia and worked with my dad and some, I actually worked with some friends, which was actually a lot of fun. I know some people say don't mix friends and family with business, but if y'all are good, then do it. It's fun. And eventually I would love to start a business myself. I'd love to have a restaurant one day. That way you can all come and enjoy my food, buy my cookbook. Chef Uma Sheffrey's cookbook.
and I'm gonna wash my hands. See, this is why you always wanna have a wet and dry hand because you get all this build up on your fingers and it's just gross. Sorry if you hear the sink going, but it is what it is. Let me catch up on chat a little bit. And it's all under my fingernails. Blech. Try not to get all of this congealed flour in the, the garbage disposal. I know it can handle it, but not today. Not today. Wash my hands. Nice hot water. Get rid of that chicken mess off your hands. I almost said a bad word. And now let's go over to the fryer. I am going to bring you over with me, so come on over. See what you look like over here. Ah, looks good. <laughs> Jen and Jeremy are my sister and brother-in-law. Yeah, my, I don't know if they'll be coming. Welcome, sushi. Welcome. Where are the tongs? Oh, I bet you the tongs are in the dishwasher. That's fine. I'm actually going to use a fork. So take your chicken and slowly add it into the oil. You're going to want to cook these to an internal temperature of at least 165 degrees, but chicken thighs like to cook and get a little hotter, so you may want to go to like 175, 180-ish on these. Always leave a little bit of room in your pot or whatever you're frying in, because as soon as you put your stuff in, the oil rises up and you don't want it to get everywhere. Daddy Jessica is in the house too now. Man, we're getting getting a full chat here. Pretty excited. Pretty excited you were all here this morning. Make sure that nothing's sticking. You see I got some good frying action going on and the breading is staying on. That's perfect. Good thing. And only do a few um I only do a few chicken thighs at a time. You see my hot honey here is going pretty well. I'm going to add in a little bit of chipotle. Do a teaspoon of chipotle flake. Make it spicy. So happy y'all are all here. So cool. Ooh. That chipotle just hit me in the nose. Yes, this is gonna be spicy. Put a little spice in your life first thing this morning. <laughs> well, let me make sure that this is closed real quick so the battery doesn't pop out and the stream stops. That would be a shame. The num num. Okay, I'm gonna do a shout out for Streamer Galaxy real quick. It's exclamation point SG to do Streamer Galaxy. Boom. Feel free to join. And also, I'm gonna shout out my Discord real quick. Feel free to join Shepherd's Kitchen. I post all of my recipes in there. You can get some behind the scenes look. Look. Right. What am I trying to say? Some looks behind the scenes, I guess? I think Jess streams tonight, I believe. Yes, I got bots working. I don't know if I want to stay with uh, Nightbot or if I want to switch to Stream Elements or Streamlabs. What's y'all's suggestion? Totally open for suggestions on how to make things better. Oh man. Hopefully 
hopefully everything's all right. You can text me if you need to, Jess. Sorry, I just realized I had my phone all up in there. So awesome to have all three of my mods in my chat all at once watching. I have three just in case one of them can't make it, but they're all three here this morning. It's too cool. So let's take a peek here. Look at how the breading stayed on the chicken. Oh, these are going to be yummy. I want to fry them so they get a nice golden brown color. You use CloudBot personally and it seems to work built into Streamlabs. Okay. Keep the heat going. Once you add in chicken and stuff, it kills the heat in the oil because it's cold. So just make sure you keep the heat going. Oh, and also, no alcohol this morning. Although I could have a mimosa or something, but I don't have any champagne or orange juice, believe it or not. So I'm going to be drinking body armor, watermelon. The watermelon flavored everything is the best. Now you can see the hot honey started to almost bubble up a little bit. I'm getting somewhere here. I can't believe I got a packed house in here today. That was the best. the chicken going. That looks good, man. See the herbs on there and see all the flour starting to crisp up. It is a problem, Kate Fasamasa. I wish I would have did that. I went shopping yesterday, but I totally dropped the ball on that. Totally dropped the ball on that one. How can you have a brunch without a mimosa? Serious question. Or a Bloody Mary. I'm not the biggest fan of Bloody Marys, but we'll get the job done. Let's check the temperature of the chicken real quick. Yeah, I'm a dingus. Such a dingus. Alright, we're at about 130 degrees, so we'll let that keep going. <laughs> I love the word dingus, it's an awesome word. Absolute chaos. Good morning. Welcome to the stream. You love mimosas minus the orange juice. That's great. <laughs> I feel you on that one. I love it. Absolutely love it. How is everybody doing this morning? Sorry if I haven't greeted you yet. How's your hot honey? It's looking good. Can you see it? I know I'll, I'll bring it over better when I have better lighting, but it's nice and loosened up from the heat. The habanero is in there steeping. and you can see the habanero bubbling a little bit. Looking good. I'm going to use all of the hype emotes I have. Let's see how many I got. I got quite a few. I got some gifted subs and everything. I got a lot. Bring in the hype. Joe McCola, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm happy you're here. Thanks for tuning in today. As you can see, I'm making uh, some fried chicken right now. We're going to do some chicken and waffles action going. Hopefully by Saturday. I don't think it'll be, they'll approve them in a few days, but hopefully Twitch gets on it quick so my hype emotes can come into play. I love them. And if you haven't seen it yet, seen them yet, check out my Discord. But uh, little Calcifer made them for me. 
and they are perfect. I love them. All right, we're getting somewhere now. We're at about 155 degrees, so let it go a little bit longer. <laughs> Jessica, DJ, that's funny. What do you think of this emote? Moist. <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm gonna try out this hot honey to see if it's actually hot. It's almost like it wants to hit you in the face with some spice, but it doesn't. It's a little spicy, but nothing crazy. Yes, she does hate that word. She always makes a weird scream sound whenever we say it. Yes, drop all the hype in those screen. Love all the hype. Now, you're not getting so much the spice off of. Actually, no, there it is. It took a while to creep up on me, but I'm getting it. Make sure everything's going swimmingly in here. I am using, um, I actually kept the bottle. Because after this stream, I'm gonna be getting rid of it. I just have a um, vegetable oil, is what I'm using. Once it cools down, I'm gonna pour it back into this. Don't pour oil down your drain. That way you can throw it away and dispose of it properly. All right, let's take another little look, see at these. They're getting that nice color that I want. Getting somewhere. Just give them a quick flip, and then we'll tip them again in a couple minutes. And then we'll keep it moving. And we'll keep it moving. Now, Lynn, I know your real name, so is it Lindsay Boo or Lynn's Boo? Thank you for joining the Discord. Really appreciate that. See, the habaneros are starting to shrivel up a bit, getting all the flavor extracted. Gotta go take the kid to daycare. If you're still on when I get back, I will see you then. Awesome, Dave. Bon. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, I'm sure they're smelling it now. <laughs> Hope your drive is safe and you make it to daycare. And tell him I said good morning. All right, we're at about 180 degrees. I'm gonna take out the chicken now. Make sure you temp each one because some can be thicker than others. Yep, this one's done too. And that one is done as well. Now let's go ahead and let the oil heat back up. Let me see where we're at. You see we're creeping up there. Just over 300 degrees, so we're gonna let that go a little bit longer. It doesn't matter, honestly. <laughs> okay, cool. Because I like to butcher people's names, unfortunately. Oh look, there's a little fragment there. I'm gonna try that. That's mine. Let me get you a close-up look of this. You can see the herbs in there. I'll get it in better lighting here shortly. Once I start to plate and stuff. You're trying to smell it? <laughs> mm. Wow. That's good. That's really good. All right. Let's see where we're at. It could use a little bit more salt, so I'm going to add salt to the top of that. The funny thing is, is the original recipe actually called for less seasoning, and I upped it, and it's still kind of bland. But 
It'll be good. No, these are chicken thighs, mum. Chicken thighs. You can totally do chicken breasts, but I wouldn't cook them as long. There's one, and I got one more chicken thigh left. Gently. I'm gonna get splashed by hot oil. I have been splashed by hot oil enough for probably three or four people. It's no fun. I've got lots of burn marks on my arms. All right. I'm gonna bring it back over here so I can show you stuff in better lighting now. Let me adjust this a little bit too. Here's the fried chicken. Don't know if you can see it very well, but it looks nice and golden brown and crispy. You want to make sure you soak up the oil off of it as soon as you take the oil, take it out of the oil, or it will quickly turn soggy. And nobody likes soggy chicken. Yes, it does because the um, it is very true. Bone in does take longer because there's the bone there. The bone has to warm up and then everything around the bone has to cook too. So it holds temperature differently. So you definitely have to cook it a little bit longer. These probably took, I wanna say 10 minutes to fry all the way through, but it also varies on the thickness and thinness of everything. So just remember that too. Sorry, I'm gonna turn the lappy top back on so I can see my stream, stream element, not stream elements, the stream manager. This is what the hot honey looks like. Hopefully you can see it. it smells so good. Here, I'll uh, I'll do this. Check out the hot honey. I'm trying to get the lighting on on point. Is that better? I don't know, but it's got some heat to it. It's delicious. What y'all's plans today? You got any fun plans going on on this hump day, Wednesday? Halfway through the work week. Today is technically my Sunday. I start back at work tomorrow. 10 a.m. shift tomorrow. I don't have to be in at 7, which is good. Used to get oil burns all the time when I was cook at the fast food place. Yeah. Fast food's no joke. Fast food can be rough on you. Oh, why do I always do that? Get, get away. So does Jeffrey. Yeah, I don't know if you can see him, but I do have a lot of burns. There's a fairly recent one there. Also, when I cook pizza, sometimes my arm flinches and I get... There's a really good scar right there from a 520 degree pizza oven. That hurt, to say the least. I also probably said a few things that day I shouldn't have. You trying to find something to watch on Netflix? Nice. I told you I can text you my Discovery Plus login information and you can watch all the good shows on Discovery Plus if you want. Just let me know, I'll text them to you later. Listening to a webinar and writing notes. Whew, that sounds like so much fun. Well, thank you for the lurk, Jess. DJ, hopefully I can, I'm gonna get a lurk command going after this too. I forgot to do that, it slipped my mind. And I'll come up with some fun wording for it. Discovery Plus is pretty sweet. It's got like Travel Channel and um, <laughs> HGTV and uh, Travel Channel. I think I already said Travel Channel, Discovery Channel, Science Channel. It's got all the good stuff. Like Ghost Adventures and stuff. I don't know if y'all are into ghost hunting shows. Ghost Adventures is okay. Sometimes it seems like a little stage, but it's good. Of course, deadly is catch and all that jazz. I'm gonna go ahead and start toasting some of my waffles. So I can go ahead and get ready and start plating here shortly. I can't believe it's already been just over 45 minutes with you guys. Yeah, just download the app on your uh, Roku and I will send you the information and you can just 
type it in there. Be good to go. I totally forgot to put the cornstarch into my breading, but it's okay. It doesn't need it. I knew I forgot to do something. At least I didn't forget the salt and pepper. That would have been pretty bad. Who else is in here? Let's take a look-see. Got a lot of lurks going on. I really appreciate the lurks. Keeps my view average up. Oh, I see Jen's in here. She's just not going to say anything. Good morning, Jennifer. Or, at well, you guys. Good morning. <laughs> Time does fly when you're having fun. You'll probably buy it. Why do you need to buy it if I'm letting you use it for free? It's only six bucks. You can totally come out and make a cup of coffee if you want. You won't be on stream. You'll be okay. I promise. Or make your matcha. Matcha, matcha. And if you don't want to be on camera, I can grab it from the fridge for you. There you are. Good morning, sunshines. You ready for trying time? It's coming. They're awake. They're coming out of their bedroom. Have you been watching? Yeah. Yes? <laughs> I won't let them see you. I don't know if you can hear them, but they're awake and alive. They came out of the cave. You want me to grab you anything? I will. Yeah. Oh, it's Jeremy's <laughs> hand. Can I have my coffee creamer? Coffee creamer? Absolutely. Yeah. Which one is yours? Oh, there's This one? Yeah, thanks. And the heavy creamer? <laughs> the Here you go. Thanks. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Sorry if my talking woke you up. I think you were already awake, girl, weren't you? We were already awake. <laughs> yeah. The smell alarm did go off. <laughs> About 30 minutes ago. About 30 minutes ago? Yeah. The smell alarm went off. That's what Mom said. chickens. What do you need now? Uh -oh. oh, the trash can's over here. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. It's right here. I got it just out of frame. So they can't see it, but I can see it. I'm going to see my arm for a sec because I have to dump out this batch of water. Oh, yeah, the coffee-flavored water. Yeah. Watch your hands. It's hot. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ew. You okay. got me. It splashed my foot. Oh. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. All right. Got my first thing of waffles done here. Your mom said Edith and Stanley are up. Edith. Let me get my... Where did I put the clip? Oh, it's over here. We need to get it together. That's going to be one of my sound alerts. Whenever I'm looking for stuff all over the kitchen, doing redemptions, it's going to be Gordon Ramsay yelling, get it together. At me. Pretty excited about it. You like my setup? Yeah. yeah. GoPro is actually perfect for this. I know, it's really perfect because I can just move it around. And yeah, you don't have to, like, my camera, you would have to move it towards everything that you're doing. Yep. This, it has such a wide field of view. Yeah. That you can see everything all the time. Uh, Jeremy's gonna need a coffee cup. A coffee cup? Yeah. Um, so I just saw, oop, that's not a coffee cup. Or, There you are. Mm -hmm. um, I need my half yes, I am toasting the waffles. What do you need? My half teaspoon. Your half teaspoon? Yeah. I think it's in the sink. Uh-oh. Oh. I already got it. It's okay. Got it. This is got You need water? <laughs> Come and get it. Here, hand it to me. We're trolling the stream. You're not trolling my stream. Y'all live here too, you know.
when we fill it to the max line. That's good. Thank you. Yep. I would have been so sad. Chicken and hot water. I'm going to have to go to the store to get more chicken. Here's your matcha, or your matcha spoon. Got more toasted waffles. Jenny, are you going to have one? No. No? I'm going to count these calories as they enter in my mouth. Yes. <laughs> what are y'all doing today? Working? Yeah, working. Yeah, they work today. I'm off today. I'm going to be editing a YouTube video after this. My awesome vegan YouTube video. Look for you guys in it. Well, I think I can go ahead and start building these now. I got enough waffles ready. You're starving. We'll go get some food, son. Or father, whatever you want to say. <laughs> I wish I had one of those honey things. Here, I'll get you a plate ready too, Jerry. But then you're ready to pounce on this one. Uh -huh. <gasps> What'd you do? You didn't get my notebook, did you? No. All right, so I'm gonna make Jeremy's first. You don't have to make mine first. My hands are clean, I've washed them about 20 times. I know. Saw you licking the spoon for the honey. Look at that. Like, Is he gonna put it in there? Look at that. No, I got a new one. I saw it. <laughs> Dad called me a door. Door to door. Drizzle some of this hot honey onto the chicken. Then I'm gonna put the top of the waffle on. Make little sliders here. Oh, no. And then get this all in the nooks and crannies of this waffle. It's going to be super sticky, super delicious. Boom. Here you go, Jeremy. Ooh, dang. I haven't tried it yet. The chicken's kind of bland because it didn't, the seasoning wasn't on point like I wanted it to be, but it's still pretty tasty. I'll wait. So you say trying time. Did you say trying time? Yeah. <gasps> She's like trying so hard not to be in the frame. You're, I you're, see your you're face. in it. You're in it, buddy. You're fine. Oh. It's okay. I don't care. I know you might, but I don't. All right, let's set up a nice pretty one here for me. Get some on the chicken. Put the top of the waffle on. That's it, I saw him. I'm gonna go ahead and set up another one for me because I know I'm gonna want two of these bad boys. And I also gotta take pictures. Oh, I forgot to do my pretty garnish habanero. That's okay, I'll just take habanero out of here, plop it on top. Alright, let me clean up the plate a smidge and then I will show you a close up. But it's okay if it's messy. Honey is a messy thing. Tell me what you think of those. I'm bad boys. There's the one with the habanero on top. Look pretty? They're all the same color, but oh let me let me do this. Get that little drizzle action going down the front. There we go. Now it's picture worthy. I'm gonna move the camera over to the side a little bit so I can get my picture. This is where I take my pictures at, on the countertop. All right, I'm gonna go off a of frame from, out of the camera for a minute. <laughs> mm, I'm really happy with how these look. Me too. Why is my phone going full? Uh, I want to see the word. Could have totally put, I should have put a fresh sliced habanero on there, but I didn't. All right, let me go 
back into the camera, field of view. <laughs> and now it's trying time, Jeremy. He is ready. He has got his fork ready to go. Are you okay if I do this once every month or every couple of weeks? Yeah, as long as I get trying time. Oh, you'll get trying time. I'm eating the habanero. It's good. It's spicy. <clears throat> Why did I do that to myself? Well, Jeremy. What you think? He's happy. He's happy, yeah, he's doing his dance. <laughs> My, I had a catastrophe, it all fell apart. Oh my God. I'll try a bite, because I've never had chicken and waffles before. Me neither. It's so good, it's so tasty. Those waffles are good. It's sticky. And that habanero has my mouth on fire right now. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You're cracking me up. Are the waffles moist? Yeah, they're moist. Could do a little spray butter action on top of these too. Is the honey spicy? Just a little bit. Mm. The habanero hit the side of my mouth, and now my lips are burning. Wait, that's really special. Is it really special? Really special. Hmm. <laughs> you don't want one? I'm sure. Thanks, though. I'm childish, y'all. You're not childish. It's just a funny word. I want one, but <clears throat> I gotta stay strong. I'm gonna go for a bite with the full effect here. It's so good and so tasty. Oh my god, this waffle's falling apart. You know what? I'm just gonna put the chicken in my mouth and then put the waffle in my mouth. Do it. Uh oh. So yummy. Mm -hmm. Y'all cooking anything today? What you cooking? We can chat a little bit now. Now they don't have to focus on cooking. It's been just over almost an hour now. I can hear myself talking. That's fine. At least you know the volume's good. This is so yummy. It is yummy. You want food? You go at work? I wonder who came up with chicken and waffles too. Whoever did it needs to be crowned and I don't know, just glorified. It's so good and so tasty. You did such a good job. Hmm. Ooh, just enough heat in that. It's a little warm. What are you laughing at? So I'm gonna hang out just a little bit longer. I'm gonna start to toss the rig around here shortly. I don't know who's on. But we will get somebody. Mm -hmm. oh. Bye mom. We're gonna, I'm going to be done in about 10 minutes. I'm going to post in a few discords that we're waiting in 10 minutes. So if you want to hang out a little bit longer, please do. <clears throat> I'm going to hang out a bit longer. <laughs> oh, I need to search for it. Hype. Bring the hype. That's my rating channel. And then we'll see who's on. Oh, my nose is starting to run. Good way to clear out your sinuses first thing in the morning. Uh oh, do it. Do it.
to post it in Streamer Galaxy and my Discord. And now let's do the Bomb Squad. I do it under Share the Love. That makes it weird. Oh, that wasn't you. Here it is. Ooh, I can't spell reading in seven minutes. <laughs> All right, shared three of it. Oh yeah, I forgot about waffles. I forgot he streams too and he has emotes. Now you're gonna watch me eat. Or if you wanna talk about something, we can talk about something. Dangerously close? Yeah, well, kind of. Mm -hmm. If you're in Lurksville, thank you for lurking. I think that's what I'm going to name my lurk um, um, command. Off to Lurksville, instead, or Lurk Town instead of Flavor Town, you know? Weird. They are so tasty. I wish you had some too. But hey, you can totally make it now. I'll post the recipe in Discord later. And like I said, you totally don't have to make it spicy. You can just drizzle regular honey all over top of it. You can do maple syrup. That would be delicious too. It's better with the spice. It is better with the spice though. Personal preference in Craig's personal preference too. So yummy. Moist. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we've got about five more minutes before we raid. Let's start looking to see who's on. <laughs> Three people on. We've got some Dead by Daylight. Somebody doing food and drink. I don't know what they're doing. And we also got Mario Kart. Mario Kart would be a cool change. Thinking about that sauce, it is so good. Do y'all have any suggestions for a raid? I can search them if you have a good suggestion. I need to start following more people. Jin. I'm gonna add a little bit more hot honey to the top of this one. Make it super messy. Did it everywhere. Want another one, Jeremy? <laughs> Let me toast some more waffles real quick. Let me wash my hands first. Gotta go look straight. Love you. Love you too, Jess. Thank you for stopping by and watching. I know no one's on right now because it's really early. I'll just pick somebody that I have ready to go. And I follow. I'll toast these cute little waffles here. Okay. Mm. Fried foods are so good. How do fried foods have to be so good? So tasty. As soon as this camera turns off, that's going away. I gotta be nice. Oh look, I'm up to 58 followers now. Thank you for everyone who followed me recently. I'll Jen. get, yeah, Jen was one of them. <laughs> Where were you guys? But um. I'm gonna start getting the crawl on the bottom of my screen, hopefully, or a little overlay. So hopefully that'll be happening soon. Now I got the hiccups and the heartburn starting to kick in, but that's totally fine. It's totally worth it. You have your plate? 
You can set it here if you want, and I'll set you up. That way it's not on camera. I'll take it. Once those come out, boop, and we'll roll. Good to go. Okay. All right, how much time do we got left? Three more minutes. We're going to jump into somebody else's stream. Welcome if you're just tuning in. If not, totally cool. Need a nap now, full belly. Yeah, I'm going to need a nap for sure. Eat this piece. Come off. Hot waffle. Hot waffle. Um, here we go. That's a big boy. Oh boy. <laughs> These chicken thighs are not small. No, they're not. This. Good and so tasty. <laughs> oh, you got a little piece of habanero on that one. Good luck. It's all you, buddy. Why did I call you, buddy? I'm sorry. Thanks. <laughs> That's it. I guess I'll have ramen. Oh, yeah. Thank you for watching, Kage. Thank you for hanging out and enjoying the stream. Hopefully this Saturday I'll come up with something cool because it'll be my first affiliate stream, hopefully, as long as this goes according to plan. I don't think I should have any issues with that, but try and think of something cool and fun. Pretty pumped for it. But uh, one minute left, so we're going to get ready and start it. So use whatever rate emotes you have, hype emotes, whatever emotes you got. Get them ready because we're going to go share the love. Let's do, what, Mario Kart 8 or Dead by Daylight? Somebody say something. <laughs> Not something in my teeth. Mario, all right, we're gonna do Mario Kart. Thank you again so much for watching. See you Saturday. I will have a, I will post on Twitter and I will have a vote available that you can help pick out what I make. There'll be two options. Don't know what they are yet, but I'll come up with something. Thank you for watching. Follow me on my socials and uh, thank you so much for coming in and hanging out in the kitchen with me this morning. And here we go. We're going to raid and watch some Mario Kart. Get your remotes ready because it's coming. Ready to raid. Whoop, whoop. Once again, thank you, thank you. Tap to read now. <laughs> <laughs>